tribe. Hello, hello, hello. This is Evie. It is Friday. Are y'all ready to party? Sunshine here today. Yes, Dolly tribe. It's Friday. I hope you guys have had a wonderful, productive week. I hope you got everything that you needed to have done at work done. And I hope you had a wonderful Halloween. And I hope you're just ready here for this Friday, ready to relax, ready to, you know, just be happy and get ready for the weekend to relax and to just, you know, just celebrate and just relax and unwind from your toils throughout the week, right? And for those of you that work on the weekend, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I also work on the weekend, so, you know. I understand. Dolly Tribe, I am here with you today to do a couple of little small Dolly things and just kind of chat and catch up with you guys. I really do hope life is treating you well, Dolly Tribe. I oh so much appreciate all of you guys for always, you know, supporting me in my content and just, you know, liking the stuff that we're doing over here at the Evie Sunshine channel because you guys have been rocking with me for so long. I very much appreciate it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So peace, love, and blessings to all of you. And now let's get into the content. So I'm going to show a doll in the buff. So if you don't like new dolls, you probably want to um, look away or just listen, um, you know, from a distance for a moment and not look at the screen because I have a beautiful doll here that I want to show you. And this is the doll. This is the um, Asha face sculpt from the um, Sam's Club, that little six doll pack that were, um, that all had outfits or dresses that were a color of the rainbow. Um, I don't think it had an official name for the dolls, but it was just a, a, a pack of six dolls of different, um, you know, ethnicity, race, and all that. And she was one of the dolls. She had the pink dress on, and she had this very beautiful curly hair. I don't know if y'all can see that, but she has some very beautiful hair, and she has a very beautiful Asha sculpt. You know, I was never a big fan of the Asha Sculpt too, too much. I did have one that was one of my favorites when I was younger. Um, but I was never a big fan of the Asha Sculpt. But in the last two years, I've been a really big fan of the screenings that they've been, the face-ups and the screenings that they've made for the Asha Sculpt. Um, this doll did not have this body. I switched her onto a pivotal articulated body. I don't know whose body this is, but I know I switched her over onto a um articulated a more articulated body they had the standard five points of articulation on the sam's sam's club set dolls so her body has been switched over um i just wanted to do a little try on today of this sparkle girls outfit from quite a while ago and another doll that i'm going to show here later on in the video but right now we're going to take a look at this sparkles girls fashion see zuru as you can see, it says Zuru right up here, right? Zuru used to make these fashions, for those of you that are new to collecting, called Sparkle Girls. And these, before the prices went up, before the inflation hit us real hard, these used to be $1.97. I think at the time they were discontinued. I think they were, what, $2.97? So still wasn't too bad. Even if they had went up to $3.97, I still would have bought these cute little fashions. And this is the back of the little packaging. Um, I don't think they ever had like names of like the themes and stuff. It just says Zuru, Zuru Fashion Girls, Sparkle Girls, sorry. <laughs> um, and they would come with an outfit and some kind of accessories. So we're gonna put this cutie patootie right here in this outfit. Let me get my Fresh Squad, Fresh Fierce doll stand to put this doll on. <laughs> while i get this fashion out of its packaging you guys she's still in the buff um i'm going to get this out of the packaging and i will be right back 
But yeah, they used to be $1.97. And then the last time I bought some, they were $2.97. So at least in Missouri, they were. So this is the cute little outfit. It's kind of like a denim. It's, I think it's supposed to look like it's denim. Ooh, sorry for hitting the camera. And then it has like this cute little pink and gold belt. And this little um, fastener is very, very cute. Y'all see that? That is very super duper cute. Um, the belt doesn't go around to the back. That's kind of standard for the fashion, uh, for the Sparkle Girls fashions by Zuru. It does have a Velcro. And it was pretty decent, you know. These are not bad fashions. And then it has a um, a ribbon to go around it here. And then it has another deal right here. It's very early in the morning for me <laughs> that I had to um that I had to record this you guys so my brain does not work very good in the morning. <laughs> just to tell you when I when I'm first moving around like I just I cannot deal. Um so I don't know what this is called right now but it is what it is. But um there's you know, there's a lot of great details. It's a finished hem here, and it's just a decent fabric. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's not printed the same. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they used to have a little tag that says Zuru. I'm telling you, they need to bring these back and make them put them in the little, the little balls, the same balls as the mini fashions. You just call them, you know, mini fashions, and then they do the clothing this time around. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on a doll, okay? And then here's the shoes that it comes with. I don't really like their shoes, but, you know, every once in a while, I'll use them on some dolls. But I don't really like their shoes. But we'll just go ahead and get the doll dressed up and everything, including their shoes. So in case you've never seen these before, you can get a sense of the whole feel of the Zuru fashions, the Sparkle Girl fashions. So give me just a second. I'm going to dress and doll her up. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm, I didn't sleep too well. I barely slept. And then when I got up, I was just like, let me do this now. Because later on, I will not have a chance to do um, a video. I will not be able to get it uploaded. I'm trying to do, um, I'm trying to get to the place where I just do videos on Monday, uh, not Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. Um, but even that's a little bit difficult um, for me right now with the type of schedule that I have. Uh, so I definitely apologize, apologize, apologize. So yeah, now I have her in this outfit. It's a little odd. I didn't know this was a separate little piece, but it's kind of odd. I'm going to put her on a doll stand and then we can take a look at it together and then get into the details. With these fashions, it was always hit or miss, so just bear with me. So here this cutie is in her fashion. I like the actual cut of this dress. I really like it a lot. I really like that they wanted to go with a denim feel for it. Um, I actually like the little pink belt and everything. I don't like the shoes because the shoes never match exactly with the dress. Or with whatever outfit is going on most of the time. The pink is a little too pink. You know. And this is kind of a very light pink. And this ribbon. I don't know why it goes beyond. You know just a strap. I might swing it back up here. And try to do something to it. But it shouldn't just be swinging down here like this. And every once in a while. Zuru fashions would have some little weird detail. Like this one. So I might just clip it off. Or I might try to pull it back. And secure it back here like this i don't know but let's bring it up closer so you guys can see it on her so this is how it looks i'm trying to just give you a idea of how you know the fabric is is looking on her very it's really not a bad outfit it's just this piece is very very awkward i don't know what was going on with this there's like a little fastener right there. Zuru always came with the details, I'm telling you. Zuru is always on on the 3000 level with their you know, with their details. That's a nice like little buckle. And then right here was a nice little buckle for this 
for this belt. And I thought it was just a really good, it was a really good detail. So it's an asymmetrical type of deal coming down slanted like this. Just really cute. You know, that's a pretty decent, pretty decent doll. You know what I'm saying? Pretty decent doll. So I hope you like this and here are her shoes on. <laughs> These fit Barbie very well. I don't know how well they fit the actual Sparkle Girls because I never actually bought a Sparkle Girl. And even, if, I think there, actually, I think there was a few times I bought Sparkle, Sparkle Girls. And, um... I just took their clothes off them and I never examined them very well. <clears throat> Whew, I hate it when my throat feels scratchy. That means I need to get some tea out. And all of this, I'm going to have to make me some tea and stuff before I head out on my adventures today. Because I have a scratchy throat and I don't like having scratchy throats. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't like have, having a scratchy throat. Just don't. Okay, let me put this stuff in the recycling. Go put it in the recycling. Okay. The next thing we're going to take a look at here is this. We have hair amazing fashion doll, Pupe de Mold and Muñeca a la Moda. Okay. So we got a hair amazing fashion doll here. And I saw her at Walmart and I was just like, you know, I need to see what these little dolls are all about. Um, I have a hair, hair, hair durable doll or whatever. I don't know those hair durable and the other kind of hair whatever dolls i don't know they were kind of um they were kind of in trend before rainbow high came out hair adorable hair amazing um there was something here something like that they're part of the same brand um i have one of those dolls i think i bought other than that no so this is the one i have right here i think um but that you know the little cartoony thing on the back is very cute I believe she's only five dollars. She was four ninety seven at Walmart. Now let me get her out. I was interested in her because she's curvy, and so I want to know if a curvy doll can fit her clothing. So I have to now I have to figure that out. I'm not really interested in this doll, not seriously. Um, like I said, I just want to know if, if curvy Barbie is gonna. If she's going to be a good clothes donor. Because <laughs> Barbie, mm -mm. their fashions are not always what I like. So I need a good substitute sometimes. So this is the back of the card. You just kind of snap them out of, out of the stuff and voila. You know, you can start playing with the doll or whatever you're going to do with the doll. <clears throat> Okay. I'm trying to get this rubber band off that I have on her, but I see that's not going to happen right now. <laughs> Just because I'm in the stupidity of not sleeping very well and moving earlier than I like to. Okay. This is earlier than I actually um, usually film and all of that. I'm trying to get into a new schedule and all of that as well. So, I don't know. I'm just having a hard time today. <laughs> it's a lot of struggling going on in this video. Y'all have no idea. No idea. <laughs> um, so, here's the doll herself. I don't know what the name is. I tried looking for a name. I don't see a name, which means you can probably name her whatever you want. She's giving like an Amy or Jenny vibe to me. 
But she's really cute no matter what you want to name her or Alicia or something. She's really cute. She has this little um, outfit on where she has kind of like a crop long sleeve top on. One side is like a rainbowish tie dye. The other side is kind of like a heather gray with, um, I don't know, a smiley face with the little Led Zeppelin type of eye and a little smile. Um, it's really cute. And then she has a skirt that is also, I don't know, party colored or whatever with some kind of wild trippy tie dye here. And then um, some other kind of more athletic blue with some kind of, I don't know, athletic department type of font on this side. And then she has some pink, looks like... Um, I don't know, I used to have some shoes like that. They look like athletic shoes, but they kind of look like they were platforms at the same time. <laughs> I don't know what those are called, and it's too early for me to even try to recall that. And even on a normal day with all my medication and brain fog and medicine fog and all that, I probably still wouldn't be able to tell you. So I don't know. Y'all forgive me. Drop it in the comments to help a girl out. You know what I'm saying? Um... <laughs> All the outfits, uh, Velcro in the back. I can see it here. Maybe you guys can't, but I can see it. And then she has this hair. And, you know, it's it's okay. I don't really like it, but it's okay. Her hair is like a really nice brown color. And it has cute little bubblegum pink streak in it. And her hair is up in a bun right here. And then it's supposed to be down. But, of course, they have rubber bands on it to help contain it while it's in that open packaging, right? So I'm going to take her off of this doll stand so you can see everything closer and more. Um, well, yeah, closer. And she has this little strand of hair that's out in the front. Here is her cute face. She has a really, she's a really cute doll. I will be donating the doll more than likely unless she really grows on me, but I'm probably going to donate her. Her hairstyle is pretty cute. Hair and nice and shiny. I could see a, a young, um, a young girl or some other child getting a lot of play out of this doll because she is cute. She has the regular points of articulation. She's curvy. Um, her head can move kind of side to side. That's about it. Um, and she just has the regular five points of articulation. Um, I'm going to remove her clothing because I do want to put it on a Barbie curvy. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to see if Barbie dolls can wear the hair amazing doll clothing. I saw this off outfit on this doll and I was like, ooh, this is cute. I want to know if, you know, maybe Sunshine or some other curvy doll can wear this in my Barbie collection. Because y'all know my collection is very heavy on Barbie. I have a very Mattel heavy doll collection including, uh, not Rainbow High, Monster High, and um, the Ever After Highs and all of that. The Cave Clubs and the Wild Hearts Crew and many other dolls. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to try to take her out of these shoes because my strength is not good either in the morning, apparently. So this is, here. here's some more doll nudity coming up. So I apologize if you don't like that, but there is some more doll nudity coming up. So here is this doll, this Hair Amazing doll's body. Um, It's a curvy body, I would think. Yeah, this is a curvy body because I saw another regular size doll, Hair Amazing doll. This is what the body looks like. Is what the back of the body looks like. And then let me go get a Barbie to compare it to as far as the just if we can say the anatomy of the doll. <laughs> uh, let's try to check out the anatomy of the doll as best as we can to compare. Oh goodness. So this doll is very much larger, taller than a Barbie. Even if the shoes were off, she'd be taller. Her face is bigger. Um, the bust is almost about the same. 
The waist is a little bit more snatched, but you know, they're very close. They're fairly close. You know, I don't know if you can see that, but they're fairly close. The bum is a lot smaller, but she has more hip and more waist than a Barbie would. So, you know, their hands are kind of the same though. You know. They both have molded on underwear. These girls can go out. These can go out like this. Barbie can go out a little farther. That sort of thing. But, you know, they're kind of the same, kind of different. And now I have Caspia here. Who I've named Clarice. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely named her Clarice. What's going on with her hair, honey? Lord. Mm. I'll be right back. I got a I got an issue with Caspia, so I'ma bring in somebody else. <laughs> Okay, I had to bring in Brene because there's something going on with Caspia and I don't know how she got that way. I'm assuming it's one of my cats that uh, that got a hold of her. So, yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is looking very promising, y'all. <laughs> Looking very promising. We might have got the right person. Maybe Caspia just wasn't meant to be in this video. You know. Sometimes it bees like that. Yeah. Um, I can already tell you that the Hair Amazing dolls shoes are not going to fit Barbie. Their feet are too big. Um, even for a curvy girl, the just the way they're just the way they're made. And right now I'm struggling with getting the thumb through the sleeve area. With Barbies, for some reason, the thumb is like very problematic. At least for me it is. Okay, got one arm in and now the next. Hopefully it will be easier to do, but I don't know. What is that noise? What is that a truck or something outside? I want to look so bad, but I can't. I don't want to go. I'm gonna look right now. Okay. Yeah. So the curvy girls can wear the outfit and Brene who is the Tamika doll from um Ariel's Ultimate Sister Pack from Disney Store even though it was you know Mattel was the one who made them she looks really good in this doesn't she she looks so cute you know what I'm saying she looks very cute in this she fits this rather well so if you want more clothes for your curvy dolls you can definitely um, get the hair amazing dolls at Walmart that are the five dollar like the budget hair amazing dolls and get the curvy ones if you like their outfits um I don't really think that I like this together you know I might pair you know the top with something else in the skirt get you know put something else with the skirt to make it more cohesive, I would think. Um, this is not the best material. Oh, sorry, you guys. It's not the best material, but neither was the Sparkle Girls outfit. So if you just want something that just looks nice and you don't want to break the bank, you can buy a $5, you know, hair amazing doll and donate it to the thrift store or give it to, uh, you know, a child in your family and just, you know, I don't know, Something like that, or if you know of a recycling center that 
recycles rigid plastics and could possibly at least take the body without the head and all that you might want to do that um but yeah the they're a uh, hair amazing dolls the curvy ones and i'm assuming even the standard size hair amazing dolls their clothes fit barbie dolls so not their shoes but definitely their clothes and she looks absolutely gorgeous in this outfit so yes i'm very happy about this dolly tribe very very happy about this i'm gonna get out of here because <laughs> um i am not at my best at this time of day and i know that I probably made this video go on unnecessarily longer than it should have been. So thank you so much, Dolly Tribe, for dipping in the doll atmosphere with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And Dolly Tribe, don't forget to keep the sunshine in your live <laughs> all right dolly tribe i hope you have a wonderful weekend um monitor your surroundings let's try to reduce the amount of plastic waste in the world and just many blessings you guys bye bye thanks for watching